Greetings, and welcome to Children of Morta. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I'm really excited to play this game for you. This is an ARPG um, that is a pixel art ARPG, and so far I've just taken a couple glances at it, and it is absolutely gorgeous. It has a nice story as well, I believe, and I hope you'll enjoy it. Uh, I would like to thank the developers, of course, for giving me a key to play this game for you today. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first thing, save management. Let's do a new save slot. We can also look at the options while we're here. Um, we have languages, many languages to choose from. Music, I've adjusted for the recording here. And then we have subtitles on as well. So let's go new save slot and let's go. Wow, that's beautiful. Ooh. Oh dear, that looks like something went wrong. Just slightly. Oh my, no, oh no. The leaves came off the trees and things happened. Margaret awoke, startled, a cold sweat clinging to her. She gathered her thoughts. Aged wood creaked, echoing through the quiet rooms. Near the house stood a shrine to Rhea Dana, goddess and daughter of the land, of Rhea and a being of comfort. Hello. Were you there? Margaret sought answers. She's summoning the goddess. But the goddess <gasps> did not speak. No. Oh no. There was only the faint whisper of something dark, something hungry. Oh dear. This looks very bad. Oi. Wow. Goddess is not the awake. The old seer's bones felt the weight of their age as she climbed. The only thought on her mind, has it begun again? Hey, that looks, oh dear. What an interesting land though. Oh, the illustration is just breathtaking. Wow. John's mission would be a simple one. He was to investigate Rhea's greatest shrine. His mother presented him with a fresh divinity shard. From his brother came a newly sharpened sword. Nice. His wife gave him a Aww. kiss and his That's daughter's so sweet. hugs were full of reason to return home safe yeah we gotta give him back safe I, I feel we're going to be john here shortly that's so sweet the, his wife gave him a kiss as though it was like a physical form thing that was so nice oh what is this I love the trees. Look at the trees. They're like at once organic and yet sort of angular. I love this art style. It is so cool. All right, so we're doing WASD. Um, oh, I forgot. I think we have, um, yeah, control layout. We do have button mapping where we can change anything that doesn't suit us. So that's going to be uh, a good thing if we need to like change things. Okay, what do we got here? It's like there's birds. Hi, birds. You're running away. Okay. Is this dangerous? Hello. Rhea, a land long forgotten, a Ooh. place of unimaginable beauty. Nice. Oh, that's incredible. What is this? Hello. Can I? No. Whack, whack. No. Nothing. Okay. Maybe it's a checkpoint. 
It first appeared as sludge given life. Hey. Slithering creatures, small and vile. Okay, we're told about primary attack. John uh, uses his sword to attack foes. Uh, press left mouse button to use the primary attack. Okay, here we go. We can just whack at stuff. Nice. Has a very good sort of area of effect. It feels very nice uh, to attack as well. There is uh, definitely a charge up time, which is not big. It's fine. It feels good. It feels good. There we go. And there's more. Many little purpley things. It's kind of an interesting thing that you kind of point in the direction that you want to attack. Works. Definitely works. And that's independent of the movement. And I like that. I like that I can walk upward and still attack downward or walk down and still attack this way. That's really handy. That is a nice thing. Oh. It's a rabbit. Or is it just stones? It looks like a rabbit has sort of died here. Or maybe these purple people have killed it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, deaded. Ah, we have evade. Okay, evade attacks at the right time to avoid incoming damage. The evade bar under a character's feet, which is this thingy, shows where they can or when they can evade. Okay, so maybe it has a charge up time. I wonder what these things are on the ground. Okay, so we press space bar. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was like the wrong time to evade, I think. I wonder if that's like health. Might be, but we're full on health, so we can't uh, pick it up at the moment. There we go. There we go. Nice. All right, let's kill all the purple stuff. Whoa, okay. Nice. All right, so far we're doing well. Okay, oh, checkpoint. Yay. Oh no, they are animals that have died. Look at this one has like purple sludge coming out of its mouth. <gasps> Poor hedgehog. Oh. Oh wow, there's several. Okay. Impeding Ooh. further progress. Ooh. A battle was certain. Yeah. Okay, John has a special ability to use uh, his shield to block incoming attacks. Hold left shift to use your shield. Right. Okay, sure. Oh, oh there's more. Oh boy, there is more. Never been much of a shield user, but we'll try. Looks like we are using energy from that blue bar here. Let's pick up... Oh, yes, health. Okay, great. I'm just going to keep whacking away at these things. Nice. Okay, what do we have here? The Bergsons use their shard of life to cleanse corrupted objects. All right, so we F to interact. Very nice. Banished by light itself. The corruption abated, yes. leaving the shard cold in hand, oh dear. dark, in need of life. How do we get more life into our shards? Okay, careful. Oh, we're going into the green again. Seems safer-ish if it were for all these purple things. <laughs> but I have to say, the, <laughs> the graphics are exquisite. Aren't they beautiful? I've been following this game for many months on Twitter because... Yeah, you get all the eye candy there. Okay, we got to read. Greater chests require a gemstone to open. Gemstones are found in different places like this animal corpse. Oh, no. Oh, poor thing. Let's go and get that gem. The shard grew warm, humming ah. softly from the harnessed energy. Interesting. Okay. Ooh, what is this? Oh. Atar's Ignition, Divine Grace. Damaged enemies burn in fire. That sounds great. Let's have that. <laughs> Divine Grace, a powerful item that aids you with a buff. Ah. Wonder if it's time? Do we just have it permanently or what? I want to see this. Do I have to press a button to use this? We might. Before him was now one more dangerous than yeah. those that came before. Oh dear. Oh dear. Ay. Ah. Ow. Ow. 
Oh, is he on fire? Take my... Wow! How did that happen? What did I do? I was holding shift as I was clicking. Whew, okay. Gain XP as you kill enemies. When reaching a certain point of XP, you will gain a skill point. You can use skill points to upgrade your abilities in the skill tree. Press tab to open the skill tree. Okay, right. Gain a skill point. Yes, continue. Spend skill point to learn new skills. Ability descriptions. Okay. Alrighty, and press um, space on the available skill to learn it. Hold on. Oh, apparently we have to learn this one. <laughs> Okay, Heaven's Strike. Call swords down from the heavens upon John's enemies. And it's a right-click ability. Okay, that's fine. Whoopsies. There we go. Yes. Sure, we'll accept. More skills become available as you spend more skill points. Press tab to close the skill tree. Let's look at this again real quick. So the other thing is we have Shield of Thorns. Melee attackers take damage when blocked by John's shield. Okay, so it's a thorn ability. Nice. Heaven Strike. We can also upgrade this to level 2, which gives us more damage. Um, of the same blood, increase max health of all family members. Then we have uh, Aged Vigor. Increase John's armor. Unleash Rage, tem temporarily, temporarily become invulnerable, and deal thorn damage to attackers. That's kind of cool. Locks at skill level 4. So it looks like we have to upgrade multiple things to get to other things. <clears throat> these are skill level 8. Shield Slam, Heaven's Grace, Grit, and Might. We'll get into more of these as we level up. Shield Dash, No Quarter. And then, uh, I wonder about this, all family members. I wonder if we're going to get to play other people. Hmm. Oh, here's our, our character here. Um, a monster at fighting with sword and shield. Nothing can stop this father from protecting his family. The weight of his father's old sword and, and his shield, a gift from his brother Ben, might slow him down, but his slashes are powerful and sweeping. Oh, and there's some currency or something up here. Interesting. I want to find out one thing. Let's look at our control layout. And I, want, I saw something about divine something here. Is it this? Is it Q to use the Divine Relic? Let's see. Q? No? Or is that just a passive? That I don't know. All right. Well, hopefully we can do better. We should investigate the animal corpses just in case there's an item inside them like before. I also don't know if there's other stuff in the forest, like how much uh, exploration is necessary for this game. Goblins, a familiar threat. Albeit farther out than usual. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, no. Oh, how nice. <laughs> like this, it's like instant pause. Secondary attack, try your newly learned skill. Press right click to use it. All right, good. Hey, wow, gonna get shield. It's too bad that the dash isn't um, more often. <laughs> I would like to use it every few seconds. Magnificent, but dangerous. A land wow. of love found and of love lost. Ooh. Dang. It is very atmospheric, this place. And beautiful, just beautiful. Okay. Where are we going? Oh, there's a thing. Before him was sacred ground, left untouched wow. in days gone by. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's look and see what this is. Oh, we can pass Remaining through. Remaining calm and collected, the shock of his heart skipping beats was concealed in expert fashion. Before him stood Linda, his eldest daughter with bow and quiver at the ready, determined to do her part. Nice. Okay. What does that mean? Okay. Electrocalypse. Divine Relic. Create a temporary aura that damages nearby enemies. So if we F this... Oh. Aha. Okay, so this is our Divine Relic on Q now. So this must be a passive, I think. Oh, she's following me. Ah, I see. Nice. Oh, 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 what's going on here? We have stuff going on. No, no. OK. 
Okay, press Q. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> A righteous fire. Or righteous electricity. Nice. Boom. Very tasty. Is this building anything? What is this? No? Okay. It doesn't do anything when I walk near it. <sighs> this really feels good, this game. It's like... Before Whoa. the guardians were not Ooh. beasts feeding, <gasps> but monsters consuming, oh, destroying no. others, they corrupted and distorted, creating even more hungry husks. Oh no. The animals are being turned into these horrible creatures. Oi. No. Those are nice animals too. Oi. Wait, shield up. <laughs> I felt like I was in Star Trek just then. <laughs> Shields up. <laughs> Scotty, can you give me more power? Yes. What have we got here? Down here. Wow. Okay. Friend is not doing that well. I'll make sure and hopefully. Oh, still 12 seconds on the electrocalypse. El Electropocalypse. Oh my god. Words. Both father and daughter <laughs> gathered their thoughts. Their hearts heavier than before. Wow. How would they explain what they had witnessed? Yeah, it is kind of horrible, I agree. The ancient tree had been cut down. No. Together, father and daughter described the horror. Oh. Creatures dripping with decay that slithered into bodies stuck between life and death to bolster their ranks. Oh. Grandma Margaret confirmed what they all feared. It was the corruption. A cruel entity spoken of only with hushed voices. An ocean of darkness that flowed from the top of Mount Morta. Mm. And the Berkson's duty was to stand against this devouring deluge of death. Kevin was also eager to do his part in the family's fight, especially when his older brother Mark was off somewhere. He was as much a guardian of their mountain home as any of them. She stood. If they were to reach the summit and destroy this evil, as the Bergsons of old had done in the past, they would need the assistance of the sanctuary. Whoa. Underground sacred hiding place. Nice. Woohoo. Dang. What is that? Given to the Bergsons by Rhea herself, the sanctuary was a gateway to the mysterious lands around the mountain. Margaret pointed to the huge crystal at the center of the den, revealing their next task, to activate it and open the way to the source of the corruption. And once Rhea's three spirits are gathered on the grounds, the only gate to the top of Mount Morta will open in this chamber. Whoa. By himself, or with the assistance of those who loved him, John needed to gather the three spirits from their lands. Without them, he would not be able to stem the flow of the corruption. Okay, so now we can just choose a place. Kill Dippo Caves. Let's go there. We have the Silk Caverns, one of three. Their webs litter the ground, walls, and ceilings. Sure. Let's go there. Okay, it looks like we can choose characters here. Player one, can we... No. Can we choose her as... Press Mousy Mousy to join? Huh? Uh, trying to right click. Let's go this. Play wor player one. Here, start. Oh no, can I not take her with me? No, I want her too. A celestial shard chipped directly from the ancient crystal in the sanctuary. It would be the Berkson's lifeline 
a tether mm. to pull them back home before death's fateful whisper. Nice. I'm so glad he pronounces whisper prosper properly. <laughs> nice. Oh, okay, so here we are. It's just John. There's no 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 daughter here. That's unfortunate. I kind of wanted her with me. Just slightly. Right, what is this? We have a... Wow. Okay, there's stuff here. Let's stand at this little choke point here. Kind of wishing for her arrows at the moment. Those are kind of nice. We have a chest here. Okay, there's a little bit of health. Gotta make sure I'm pointing in the right direction. I'm not exactly used to this just yet. Ooh, we have money, maybe? Okay, some gold, yes. I wonder what that purple stuff is. What is this? Whoa, no! All right, we found out what that was. <laughs> Dangerous stuff. Ay. Oh, there's like eyes there. Okay, back up a bit. Okay, gotta play well. Okay, so now we know also that those things do quite a lot of... Do we... Can I just... Here, let's just use a thing. Okay, apparently I don't have any relics here either. Nope. Okay, that doesn't work. It's interesting. I don't know how important it is to kill all the things or do other stuff. Hello? In the distance, a chuckle echoed as another approached his table. Pong of the gods, really. How do I how do I play? What? I couldn't move anything. I don't understand this. What? That was so weird. I I couldn't move anything. I don't think. Oh, how do I play this? No? Yes? Can I do it again? No! All right, game. Game is mean. Can I go in again? <laughs> I'm going to try to reset this. No! Okay. All right. For some reason, that didn't work very well. All right. We'll try to figure it out for next time. Sad times. I wanted to have a go. Pong of the gods. That sounded most entertaining. All right. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Wow. That was good. Shield up just in time there. Okay, shield. Okay, nice. Shield up. With this many enemies, I just don't want to risk it either. Face score, boom, nothing. Okay, let's go down here. Just take these little entrances. Ah, one at a time. All right, those, we learned about those things now. They activate after you step on them. Skill point. All right, let's go tab and choose something. Um, we have Shield of Thorns. Thorn damage, 50%. Let's try this. See what this is like. Sure. Okay, good. Because we have had a lot of the enemies that just jump right in front of me. Oh, what's this? Oh, a gem thingy? No, money. Okay, that was money. Nice. Oh, okay, there's some... Ay, that hurt. Ow. That was ow. That was really ow. Okay. I'm just going to go quickly across this area all the way through. There we go. And then we don't get killed. Oh, wow. Okay. Vase. I wonder if there's anything in the vase. It's kind of like Diablo. I do not know. Let's just investigate this chamber before we go further. Oi. No. Wrong way. Wrong way. Ah. This is really sneaky where they go behind you like that bat. Jeez. Really need some health uh, potions here. Let's go here. Try to get them in this alcove so they don't go behind me. Okay. 
Okay, at least we're getting some money for the family here, I guess. <laughs> Try to look if there's anything different, interesting around. Oh, wow. Don't make fun of me, bat. I'm trying to kill you the best I can. Right, let's go up here. Nope, nothing. Getting really short on health, though. What's this little interesting symbols in the ground? I don't know what these are for, though. Wow, it's drawing me in. That was weird. Wish I knew what those did. They draw you to them, but I, I can't figure out what to do with them. There's no, like, interact thing with them. Okay, shields up. Oh, health. Thank you. F here, and then... Oh, we got some health here. That's perfect. Great. Okay, there's a box. Oh no, that's the gem thingy. Yay! Nice. Okay, so we've gone around this area. Do we go... Let's go see what... Oh, there's a something in here. Ah, it's a something. <laughs> it's, it's a something! That is so specific. <laughs> Oh, here's some gold. I'm sure I must have missed some gold along the way as well. But I'm going to try to pick up everything that I see. You found the finish room portal. Press and hold T to teleport back to it from anywhere on this floor. Okay. That up there looks like a boss room. What is this? Is this the... Oh, hello. Scepter of proficiency. Increased crit hit chance. Nice. We'll take that. Okay. Oh man, God, is this game beautiful. I love it. It it has this really interesting, like, organic feel and yet very angular and quite, I don't know, it's so nice. I'm liking it, liking it so far. The thinnest strands of white fibers coated the ground and walls, evidence of the silk caverns living up to their name. Uh -huh. Okay, nothing in here to get dead it over. Good, good. We haven't died yet. This is good. It's interesting. I'm, I'm already kind of like really appreciating the AI in this game. Like how the bats go behind you. They really try to, and then like that surprise attack there, or this like fast attack. It's really cool. It's different than when, oh wow, wow, okay, I'm having issues now. Oh boy, there's stuff happening. I can't move. I can't move. No! All right shields I'm gonna die soon oh my god no shields oh boy no 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 don't die don't die don't die how do I not die how do I not die I mean I need I need I, I think there was danger there okay uh, quick quick okay I got some sh health those things shoot. I get it from behind this area. I don't know if this is legal <laughs> to go like behind the wall or if that even works. Hey, no. I need to get this mama spider deaded so we don't have more baby spiders coming on. Okay, let me get out of my breath just a bit. Ay, ay, ay. Much dangerous here. This is not good. Well, looks like for those bats, it's really beneficial to, like, stand in a choke point or something. So they can't go around you. Man. That's a bit scary. More than a bit scary. I need health. Desperately. What is this? Let's go here. Oh, brooch of insanity. <laughs> Greatly... <laughs> Yes, that's exactly what we need. Okay, greatly increase critical hit chance and damage at the cost of a slow, constant drain of health. No. Um, all right, I'm going to take it. Okay, charms are magical objects found in the land of Morta. Each one of them has a special effect and they can be activated by pressing R. They are consumed after being activated. You can only carry one with you before activating its effect. Okay, it's kind of a weird, like, I almost didn't pick it up. Let's see. I wonder how long that lasts. Okay, 
This is quite dangerous here. Okay, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't even know what happened there. I'm not sure what that is. Sanitize eight enemies. I wonder if that's like a thing if you um, like hit so many enemies or something. It's like a, a combo counter or something. money we should really charge those things I think get closer there we go nice all right let's go this way um Oh, we, we do get some vase score. Nice. Man, I remember in Di Diablo when that was a thing. What is... Ooh, what do we got here? Black Despair. Creates a vortex that pulls enemies in. Sure. Why not? Is this a thing? No. Okay. That's very interesting. Let's try that. Q. Okay, so it comes... Pulls them where I choose to, but I don't have to stay. It's not, like, attached to me. Which is kind of nice. Oopsies. Okay, let's go up this way and see what's here. Mm. Hey! Need more health! No! Must have more health. I wonder how we get more health. I um, mean, can I go home and heal? Or, like, how does that work exactly? Hey, okay. I'm really worried about the health right now. Come on, folks. Give me some health pots. Surely, skeletons, you don't need the health pots. You're fine. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. What's... Oh, that's dangerous. Okay, let's kill some of these folks. Oh, there are spikes there. Hello. Hello, spikes. Oh, okay. Ay, yeah, yeah. The person <laughs> began to slip away, no. wondering if this was death. No. No. Oh dear. We got stuff. What does it mean, though? Do we die? I don't know. Oh <gasps> no! They the gasped rest. for air as the celestial shard brought them back. A sensation no hero could become accustomed to. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> That's kind of scary. Wow. As she heard John and Linda describe their foray, thoughts rushed through Margaret's head. The corruption had amplified the creature's wickedness, and no longer were they part of the harmony of the Rhea. With the new threats looming, Margaret asked Ben to prepare his workshop. He would have to take charge of enhancing the warrior family's weapons and armor. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get better stuff. I'm ready. Wow, the house is so beautiful. So Uncle Ben can upgrade and enhance the Bergson's equipment. Nice. Uncle Ben reached out to the familiar ah. warmth of the forge. If they were to reach the top of Mount Mortar, their equipment would need to be of the highest quality. Okay. Ben's workshop is now unlocked. The Bergsons can upgrade their gear to grow stronger. I hope this responsibility makes Ben stop drinking alcohol. Wow. We have issues in the family here of the Bergsons. Okay. Uncle Ben uses Morv to upgrade the entire family's weapons and armor, increasing their main attributes. These are the family's main attributes. Okay. Then we have description armor up. Okay. Good. So we can upgrade. So press space on the available upgrade attribute to upgrade it. So we can get max health up. Yeah, sure. Let's do this. I also want to upgrade his sword. Can I sword? Wait, cancel. This is base attack damage. This is movement speed. That's quite tasty. Yeah, let's go base attack damage. Yes. Uh, can I go more? No, 200 required. We can get the move. Oh, no, we can't. It's all, It's 200. 
Okay, we can't click on this yet. Maybe that's going to open up later. I must check everyone's gear. It must be pristine. Wow, there's stuff. Oh. The pain in my leg is killing me, damn it. And now the bottle is empty. Oh, geez. So he's using alcohol to sort of like self-medicate himself. Aye. That's not good. Okay, we have... Let's see, Nothing click on her. could quite match the calm that Linda felt when playing her violin. Its sublime sound, the perfect counter to the nerve-wracking uncertainty and chaos. Oh, that's nice. This is their garden, I guess? All this talk of slimy and smelly creatures. Father, probably something, something I didn't see. If the world hadn't been in this state, Linda would be off to the festivities in Barahut. Yeah, and there's a cat. Hi, cat. I wonder what's your name. This is such a beautiful place. There's Margaret in her laboratory. Wow, she's got stuff going on. Can I zoom in? No, okay. I'm tired of this old tune that Linda plays all the time. The birds sound better. <laughs> the meow is real. Okay, okay. And then we have... Here we have this beautiful staircase, aquarium here, and a library. Okay, so we can look at things that we've discovered, looks like it. Nice. Okay, the Bergsons. We've, we have, wow, stories here of all kinds of things uh, about them. I'll just kind of scroll if you want to read some of these things. I'll probably read them later on my own, but I don't want to devote time in the... Um, in the playthrough for this. Wow, grandfather's journals, documents. We can't click on any of these yet. Very nice. Well, I think this is a great start to the series. Oh, wow. Look at this crazy cool stuff. It looks like we have a whole family blessed by a goddess and they're like taking care uh, of the world here. Oh, and we see some more stories from everybody. They're just talking as they think they think they're alone. <laughs> but we're uh, we're spying on them slightly. This seems like an absolutely great start to this game. Children of Marta, if you want to help support me, you can buy it on Humble using my uh, partner code. The link is in the description below and you get a Steam key for it. Or of course, you can always buy it on Steam as well. Um, looks really interesting and I'm really excited to see where this goes. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time.